I just want to show uh, what happens if you copy a checklist macro. So to do that, let's create a new page. So we're going to call it test page and insert a checklist macro. And we want to have one with a specific checklist. Let's choose a template here, meeting preparation and publish the page. So uh, what will happen is we get a specific instance of this checklist template here. And if we now, for example, copy the page, please look at the timestamp. So that's 1243. And if we copy the page now, We'll have a new page with a new macro, and you can always see in the preview that this will have a new instance. So if I'm checking off all elements here and sign it, then the old page that we were just in, the test page, they will still have a totally unchecked checklist. So this is not the same instance, but a different instance, which can also be seen through the timestamp here. So let's do that again and create a new page. So let's test page two. Totally empty at this point. And now we go back to our copy. Um, so we go back, back to our copy and we copy the checklist macro here, which is totally filled out, right? So if we put that back into our test page two, it will also generate a new instance. That's basically what I want to show.